was a pickle. Oh, yes, we have an out. Woo, good job, Rabbit. Nice play, catch. This is Fast Track Video, this is Ed, and it's Tuesday night, March 12th, it's time to shake, 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 as the days of James Bond, we will not do WDTs anymore, we'll just shake him, but not stir, so anyways, quick things to go over with this device here. Got my wonderful measuring tape, just in case that people want to know the measurement of this. It's three inches, and the diameter is three inches, like so. So it's a three by three. So if you're thinking, well, how many grams can I put in this? This is what it looks like. It's a blind shaker by Lynn Weber. I like the whole design concept with this. It doesn't give me much of a room to settle things in on the portafilter, but I'm using a naked portafilter from Holate Love that supports the E61 brew head and the ECM device. It's an ECM portafilter. All right, there's, there's your play, folks. So there is a 0.8 tenths or uh, eight, yeah, eight tenths of a play on this and I'm not too bothered by it because my main concern is, this is the reason why I bought this a couple reasons number one is clumping I was getting clumps when I was going the route of getting grinds on the machine on the shiato and then pouring it on the here and then getting nothing but when I poured it over, it kind of like fell in it and it looked like a, 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 a mountain that was compacted already, which kind of gave me the feeling of clumping. So, not sure what clumping is all about, but I don't see too much of it on YouTube or get a clear understanding of what that entails. But I'm noticing that when I get a finer grind on the Shiato, I'm getting a tighter extraction if I if I tamp it too hard and because I'm leveling and tamping and then putting it on the brew head here and that does not work so well and this is my tamper so anyways let's move on Seventeen three. 7, something 8, 18. Okay. Now what I usually like to do, now granted, this is this is kind of tricky here because this piece, this center piece here, if I pull it up, all the beans are going to spill all over the place. So you have to be very careful with how to handle this. There's a proper way of handling it and proper way of not. With me right now, one of the things I want to do, so that I know that I've got 18 in here, just kind of shake it a little bit here, get it back on the air, see if it's 18. Now see it says 18.1. So I'm never, I'm never really 100% accurate with a Kai. I don't know. It's 18.1, almost one 18.2. I shake it myself there. It's 18.1. All right. It said 18 earlier. All right. So now I have 18 here. One of, one of the things I'm going to do first is pull out any leftover grinds here. Oops, over the place. So I think, if anything, the best thing to do is to hold this thing down, kind of like I have it right now, so that I can easily pour it. Because this is a three inch diameter. It's not like a rattler. And I'm just looking at how I'm getting it in there. What's going on? Oh, see? There you go. I have a 
the same kind of common problem with uh, <laughs> whether I had a grinder like this or not. You know, who knows? All right. So now I'm going to go into this here like so. See if I can do it. Maybe I can't. I'm going to have to go over here and push the button. So I can get the full grinds in here. So this is my new workflow, everybody. You know, <coughs> using this uh, blind shaker. And there is going to be some fun things that I'm going to do with this after I do this. Just getting, making sure I get all... I think I got enough grinds in here. Let's see what we have. 18-1. I tell you, I love it when I get even things. But now, as I'm noticing that, you can see in here, everything's in one side as opposed to the other, kind of like the mountainous mountains. All right, so we got this like so. Because I hold this down, that pin in there is not going to go anywhere, and I can just shake it up. You know that wonderful car song. And so, well, anyways, I am shaking and not stirring. So, but I could stir. You know, I could stop and and bring out my what I was using already to stir things up. If I have a a uh, kind of like doing a WDT, but I just want to do this this way for right now and see what I get out of it. So I open this up. There is grind on this lid. Nice and non-clumpable. I'm trying to look in here to see if that is the case. If not, it's easier for me to make adjustments, you know, stir now, because I've got this device. And this device is really nice. And you'll soon find out. I just want to go back in here to see what I've lost, if anything. I'm still at 18.1. Oh, now it's bouncing between 18 and 18.1. But it looks like it's staying in, you know, Akaya. Okay. What do you do? I bring this over here like so. And then I start to take this little pin thing out. I'm going to shake it a little bit here. Trying to get all the grinds out of it, so I still keep it at 18.1. Right. Some sort of static involved with this, and see, this is the thing that I'm a little concerned. I just opened this thing, and I really, my my grinds are pretty fine. And then look at this, voila! I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, I'm happy to see that I can actually do that without having any problems. Done deal with my shaker, I It's It's been a shakeable night that works so well. Of course, I may have to clean it a little bit now. Then I will kind of smooth it out a little bit here because it looks like it's still leaning on one side here. And I really don't want that to happen. We are gonna to get to a point of doing the next track on just this, and if this doesn't work so well, you know, it, it seems as though things are leaning off. It's not. I'm gonna to, I got to make sure that I balance things off. But it's kind of hard when, if you really look at this here, what I was doing is I was taking this and I was going like this, trying to get it all out. But in the process, who knows where that goes in terms of leveling and underneath. So, But my main objective with this shaker is to you know, unclump things. Because I think my issues are not, are definitely not the shadow, but it is definitely something that might really be leaning towards the issue of um, something else. 
We go this this way, and then this way, level it. It looks like it's got a little mount in there, but that's not a big issue because my next thing I do when I'm doing this, because I don't like to have loose grounds, is I'm going to tamp it. And this is set at three on the dial here. I'm going to infuse now. Put that over there. And then we're going to go put this in here like so. Let's see what we get. And six seconds. And that's at uh, 8, 9, 10. I'm looking at getting something in the avenue of 35, 36, or 29, 30, 31, 32, 35, 36, 37, and at 23. So 23 seconds to 37, you know, that there, you know, I'm thinking I need to bring my dial in a little bit coarser because it's too fine to meet. But there is a little bit of crema. There's not a lot. Um, you know, I guess we could go a little bit coarser. I did go a little coarser on that. Um, eh, you know, I, you know, it's not so bad, uh, but it is something where I'll have to obtain a taste in terms of where I'm hitting that sweet spot where it doesn't seem too bitter and it doesn't seem too weak or sour.